Hi everybody, welcome back in to the channel. This is Nikki, just drop back in family, just to give you a reminder of how powerful that your silence is. Your silence is so powerful, family, and it's the greatest revenge that you can give anybody. You know, don't take matters into your own hands to do something that's not so nice, because we're all going to have to pay for everything that we do. But the greatest revenge that you're showing people is your success, and the greatest revenge that you're showing people is by being silent, by being quiet. You stop talking, you shut down, you stop giving, you stop overcompensating. You started to refocus. You started to regain your attention on the things that matter most to you in your life. And this is the greatest revenge that you're gonna give anybody that mistreated you. This is the greatest revenge that you can ever do. Success, when you succeed, this is the greatest revenge. When you ignore people that have harmed you, when you ignore people that have done so many nasty, horrible, detestable things to you, when you ignore these people, when you show these people that you're not going to participate in their negativity, when you show these people by ignoring them, by being quiet, by going within, by redirecting your focus, by rechanneling all that negativity into your vision and your goal and your purpose, this is the greatest revenge. Your success is going to be the greatest revenge. Your silence is the greatest revenge. By you not talking, it's the greatest revenge to any person that would do their best to bring you down, family. This is great whenever people ignore you. It's good, family, because this is another way that God would cause us to get back on the right track. You know, sometimes it's so easy for us to get off course. And this is a way that God would chastise us with that rod of correction through mistreatment. God will take anything, family. He'll do anything because he loves us so much to get us back onto that place to correct us. The greatest revenge is when you were quiet. The greatest revenge when, is, was when you shut down and you stopped talking. You stopped participating in people's shenanigans. You stopped participating in arguments, little petty things. You stop being, you, you stop allowing people to be petty with you, family. You stop allowing people to trigger you. People did their best to trigger you. But you decided, family, to mature. You decided to grow up. You decided to redirect your attention and your focus on your own life. This is the greatest revenge that you can give people who thought you were nothing. The greatest revenge that you're giving people right now is ignoring them. You are ignoring people that are trying to trigger you to get angry, that are trying to trigger you to be mad, that are trying to trigger you to be nasty, that are trying to trigger you to be petty with small little arguments this is the greatest revenge is whenever you stop talking to these people when you ignore these people when you let people know that they're not that much important in your life when you let people know and you show them you show them by being quiet you show people that they are just not that important in your life you show people that you're going to succeed you chose you and I'm so proud of each and every one of you who have made a conscious decision to choose you and to choose your own life path, to choose your destiny. That's a blessing, family. People don't like it. Your revenge that you have gotten over a lot of people is whenever you started ignoring these people, whenever you stopped talking, whenever you became quiet, whenever you withdrew your presence, whenever you went within and started to do that inner work, this is the greatest revenge because they didn't think you were going to do it. They didn't think you were going to do it. Some people think you're going to stay the same person that you used to be. You are a new creature. creature. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Your success is going to be the biggest revenge that people have ever seen. Your transformation is the greatest revenge. Keep being quiet. Keep ignoring things that don't matter. People are petty in the day that we live in. Don't allow people's insecurities and their pettiness develop on the inside of you, family. People are hurting. And don't allow those issues that other people are facing to come on you. Don't do that. The greatest revenge, don't ever forget this, the greatest revenge to a covert narcissist, the greatest revenge to a narcissistic parent, siblings, family members, narcissistic friends, the greatest revenge that you can ever give anybody is by being successful, by doing the inner work, by healing, 
by ignoring them, by withdrawing you away from them and focusing and redirecting all that positive energy, family, all those positive emotions and put it right back on you. This is Nikki family. It's good to be in your home to give you some enlightenment. Don't take matters in your own hands. God said vengeance belongs to him and he's going to repay all of us according to what we've done. But revenge, whenever you're a child of God, is to show, let your life show how successful you are. Work on you. Be quiet. Pull back. Ignore things that don't matter. Don't participate in an argument because it's not going to matter. These people know now, family, that you are nothing to be played with. People know, family, that they've mishandled the greatest blessing that they've ever had in their lifetime. People know that you're different. And I want you to embrace your embrace your difference. You know, a lot of people will try to make you feel indifferent because you're different. As a child of God, whenever you're truly born again as a believer, God said you are from a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. He said you are a peculiar people. That means you're going to be strange and awkward to people who are not of God's fold. And it's supposed to be that way. People who can identify with identify with you are going to be those people who are of God's fold. The greatest revenge that you can give anybody is by ignoring these people, by shutting these people down and by shutting these people completely out of your life and by going silent, by ghosting the ghost. So you ghosted the ghost of family. Your revenge is going to be your success. Your revenge is going to be your healing. All things are going to work together for your good. God bless you. I love you family. Talk later. Bye-bye.